Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office teardown lab. You might have seen these before. These are the various Pringles microphone and speaker combos, and it's a amplified. Hello. It's a pre-amplified microphone and a speaker with LEDs and whatnot. So today we're going to cover one, and then we'll cover the other. I think let's cover the speaker because that's the output, and then we'll work our way backwards to the input. First things first, nice silicone-y kind of wire with a really neat headphone jack there. No complaints from me on that. Mic in, I believe, yes, that was the mic in. Or was it? Yes, it must be, because it was doing some sort of mixing. So I'm going to do these screws on the bottom of the unit here. There's three not sure if there's one in the battery bay, there may well be. Oop. Oh god, that wire is really thin, I almost just yanked that thing. That would have been kind of annoying. In fact, there's a little tiny bit of hot glue there stopping that from getting ripped off. This is weird, isn't it? Look at this internal bit of wiring. Just looks like an afterthought, doesn't it, that white wire? I think these screws are going to affect the bezel. Oh, that's really stiff. It's almost rounded. This one's very stiff as well. Crikey. So you've got a two-way switch there because I think that was a brightness switch or Certainly something going on with that switch. Let's see. There's a power symbol there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a music note here and then there's a sort of lightning. So maybe that's sound and then that's the light show. I mean, the light comes on when it's on, but then it's clearly much brighter on that next setting. Let's see if we can get this last screw out and we can open this up. Mm. There we go, that old trick. If it's really rounded, very carefully with a lot of pressure. Be careful because you don't want to slip and stab yourself in the palm. Work that. Clearly if it's jumping around though and it, it really is rounded, there's no point continuing. You'll need some long nose pliers or something else to purchase it. The moment of truth. Ooh okay, so that wire leads to the speaker, so they're nice and long to allow for assembly. And let's have a look at the spec of the seek. KEC 5771-2 something one watt perhaps. Four LEDs. So when we switch it to the first position, ah that's the middle LED lighting up. And then our disco LEDs, and I'll plug our microphone in so you can see what the disco LEDs were doing. There we go. Ah, hello, hello. Very odd this thing here that I've never seen before. Look at this strain relief on this wire. It's actually a piece of twisted wire. That's not, it, not every day that you see that. And let's flip it over. I don't think we actually have to get the PCB out really to see what's going on. So we've got a good chance of figuring this out. So that's an XS6819. Let's see what the other chip is. An LM4871. Now, I don't rightly know what this is, because some of these LM things are gen I don't know, power regulators, voltage regulator, something like that. Look at this, I'm just tapping away, randomly messing with the thing. Um, well, let's try to figure out what we're seeing here. Okay, so when we have the sound, it's doing these LEDs. What we don't know is really what's the logic behind these. I mean, I could try plugging the microphone in again. Okay, I'll turn it on. 
Yeah, it's it's kind of random. I, I was hoping that what we would see is that one of those ICs is, well, is actually converting the audio levels and then lighting up the different LEDs depending on the level. I suspect that could be it though. You know, you could see what these various resistors are. I'll tap for it. Um, either of them really could be an amplifier. In fact, look, these are the tracks for the LED. So this one's controlling the LEDs. So this XS6819 chip is controlling the LEDs. And this other chip is clearly the audio amplifier. It has to be, that's all that's left. And uh, that's all there is to it, really. Power comes in to the switch, powers up the audio amplifier, so that's always running. And then the light show is the optional. Hope that's saved you having to open up your Pringles speaker. Something uh, you might like to do now that we've actually opened this up and you can see how it's made is you could quite easily transpose this into your own enclosure, really. If you've got any projects that require an amplifier and a speaker and even LEDs, you've got your options here. You can just do that. Just move the whole lot, wire it up internally, do a systems engineering job. It's all finished for the price of a couple of packs of Pringles. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions down below. Click subscribe if you're that way inclined. And as ever, thanks for watching.